Hello, I am Mario Marques. I am a professor at Schema Business School at the BBA Global Business. And uh, with me is Professor Jose Antonio. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Jose Antonio. I am uh, the Vice Dean for Research at uh, the Engie Engineering School and also uh, external faculty member at Schema. This work began with a conversation between the researchers. We were looking for a way to better prepare our students for this global, as an in, in increasingly complex world. The paper discussed the concept of integrative learning as a methodological strategy for the construction of, of interdisciplinarity. Integrative learning is a strategy that has been used mainly in America universities since the year 2000. Since then, economic globalization, as a result of advances in communication and transport technology, combined with a free market ideology, had led to an increasing in free trades between countries. This scenario of great and profound technological, economic, and social change require better professional qualifications. Colleges and universities in most diverse areas had felt the need to improve and diversify the skills of their graduates. Institutions have realized that it's not enough to provide only specific knowledge, but also systematic vision, with the integration of knowledge from several areas in order to prepare students for a labor market that is more competitive every day. The tests discuss the concept of integrative learning and the results of a bibliometric studies on the term. The initial research featured a number of works by American researcher Julie Thompson Klein, a professor of human science in interdisciplinary studies at Wayne State University. Her article, Integrative Learning and Interdisciplinary Studies, drew attention to the integrative learning movement that was gaining momentum in American universities. This work is a result of research undertaken on the development of skills of undergraduate students of higher education institutions through the interaction of learning different specialized areas. The World Economic Forum recognizes that a global transformation is underway, characterized by the convergence of digital, physical and biological technologies changing both the world around us as well as our own ideas of what it means to be human. According to Cheryl Derry, educational psychologist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, the problems of the world are not problems within the discipline. And she suggested that we must bring people with different types of skills and knowledge to work together no one has all that is necessary to deal with the issues we are facing. But during the 20th century, there was an unprecedented fragmentation of academic disciplines. Disciplines were further uh, fragmented into multiple sub-disciplines. Higher education institutions realized this transformation and seek to follow this process, recognizing their students will face more complex issues in their professional lives and in society in general. Thus, this paper presents an overview of integrative learning as a form of education that has been used in several American universities. From this definition began the systematic search for articles in the Web of Science database, Cielo, Emerald, Spell, EBSCO and Scopus. The description applied was integrative learning in the title ABS key, results showed 70 documents published included the Rhine until November 2017. In 1976, Hollister already used the term integrative learning, defining it as an opportunity of the put it all together type uh, when experiential learning and teaching are combined, creating new and more effective personal performance skills. Three factors are described by Klein as catalysts for promoting integrative learning. The first is that knowledge explosion, a market increase of specialties and fields, is exacerbating the problem of fragmentation, accelerating the need to make connections. The second 
is the increased focus on the problem. As Humphreys also notes, complex problems in our working lives and society force us to resort to various areas of knowledge. The third is educational reform, which links the two concepts with a family of complementary pedagogies. According to Fairness and Anderson, no matter the discipline size of the class, all teachers can begin to expose their students to integrative learning. The institutions should strive to provide students with opportunities to engage in high-impact practice, particular practice such as undergraduate research and active and collaborative learning, generating a relevant positive impact on learning and student development. In terms of conclusion, sustainability is based on the economic, environmental and social tripod, which integrates several items of knowledge. The need for renewal of educational methods that integrate different knowledge is receiving more and more attention in different institutions all over the world. There are many reasons for this, but it essentially comes down to fundamental need to prepare these students to be a part of a renewed and more sustainable world. So it is important to improve the way of preparing the professionals of tomorrow to think and build more sustainable engineering. The author of these papers are engaged in research and develop of this topic in close collaboration with the institutions where they are members of the faculty. Motivated by this research, a group of scientific conceptions at the Escola de Engenharia de Minas Gerais, ENGI, School of Engineering, located in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, was created that research sustainable cities with the participation of engineering and computer science students, professors from different institutions such as NG, Schema Business School, Latassi and Seattle University, and professionals from different fields such as economics, information sciences, business, journalism and engineering. At Schema Business School, Brazil, also located in Belo Horizonte, Another integrative learning project is being developed. Students and professors are developing their own price index, integrating disciplines from different areas of knowledge. The Schema professor aims to multiply this project to other Schema campuses outside Brazil. It is also important to emphasize that all the institutions involved share a common vision and understanding that the integrative learning and interdisciplinary innovation are essential components of education in the context of the present and the future world. The material is based upon research workshops developed by professor researchers from Schema Business School and NG Engineering School. To conclude, we would like to thank all participants at this conference, as well as our professors and our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.